We're here at the Expo Park at the Coliseum. Uh, it's February 20th and 21st. Uh, it's only $75 to get you in the gate to see the show. Um, but it's bigger and better than ever this year. We have amazing music lineup, J. Cole, Incubus, All Time Low, Heim, uh, DJ set by uh, Cascade. You know, a really, really amazing music lineup. And then we have the world's best that are going to be competing on this 16-story big air ramp that you can see behind me. Um, it's just absolutely massive. And um, this is a third stop on the tour and the final stop. So we start in Beijing, make our way to Austria and Innsbruck, and then we finish it off here in Los Angeles. Sean, you've had an outstanding yeah. career. And this is probably tough for you, but <laughs> if there's one moment, there's one moment, if there's one image that stands out for you, that will always stay with you. Yeah. What is it? It's the obvious, but it is the one that stands out the most, the Olympics. Um, but not, not uh, the last couple. It's the very first one. I mean, nothing really compares to that. I remember getting to the bottom of the half pipe, and I just won the Olympics. And, uh, you know, you see your family there, and everyone's crying. And, and, you know, you can handle that. You know, mom, you know, mom, brother, and sister, everyone's so, you know, overwhelmed with joy, and they're crying. But when your dad's crying, it's something about the dad tears that really get you. He's the like the tough figure in your life, and then he's just bawling, and yeah, it cuts to the core of you, I guess. You look back most recently at the Olympics. You look at Sochi in Russia. Um, you were there, but what lessons mm -hmm. did you learn from that? Would you say, Sean? Something amazing happened to me at Sochi, where I I didn't win, and it was the first time that I'd ever, you know, not won an Olympics that I'd entered, and um, and it was heavy, and it, and, and at the time. It was rough. Obviously, I wanted to win. I came there to win, and I didn't. And so uh, it took me some time to kind of see the lessons learned from that. And I feel so thankful, to be honest. I really do feel thankful for having that experience. It made me humble in so many different ways, and it inspired me to go out and, and build something like this, to be honest. South Korea 2018, mm -hmm. how significant is that mm -hmm. for you, for your sport? And what would it mean for you to be there competing, too? I'd love to compete. Uh, obviously, I have to qualify. I have to do a bunch of different things to get there, but it's the plan. That's the plan for me. I, I'd love to compete. I competed this season. I'm still competing. Not only, you know, we just talked about Sochi, but, you know, not, not, nothing like a, 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 you know, devastating loss is going to inspire you more to get back out there and, and fight for that top podium position. I want to ask you, I want you to pay tribute. You know, the, the really sad news of uh, Dave Mira, the BMX legend. Uh, what, what, did he, what did he mean to you, Sean? What did he mean to, to the sport? He was amazing, you know, a really talented guy and a legend in his own space with BMX. And uh, it's just super sad to see him go. And, and you know, I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very tough thing, you know, depression. And, and um, it, it's, it's hit me pretty hard. I obviously you know, heard about the news, but even before that I had someone very close to me uh, in a similar circumstance and it's just been pretty devastating. So I know we're all, uh, you know, praying for his family and our hearts go out to him.